guys welcome back to my channel hello uh today i feel yeah but i'm here i am here for you um if you're new here welcome please consider subscribing like my channel hit that notification bell and leave me a comment Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me what you think of my makeup or the video today. Anything. I love talking to y'all. I really do. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. I love it. I love you guys. You know, um, the more the merrier is what I say. Um, today... I have my Walmart order coming, so I don't want to have to interrupt my video. I want to get moving here. Um, I pulled this out last night. The Tart Tartiest Pro Remix palette. Beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Always nice and sturdy. Um... Great big mirror and beautiful shades. So we'll see what I have with, oh yeah, I have purple on my shirt. We'll see what I got to work with here and we will do something. Um, at the same time, I also pulled out Wander Beauty Trip for Two. It is a palette that I can't open. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here are, here is the blush shade and the contour shade. The blush is daiquiri. And I'm thinking it's tulum for the contour. I don't know. You can probably read it. I cannot. Not without my glasses. So, anyways. I think there's still a... There is. Woohoo. Still sticky on there. Um, okay. We will start with the eyes. Eyes, eyes, the eyes have it. Um, there is a lot of shimmer in this palette. There is a lot. So, we'll get her figured out, won't we? Um, trying to think what's on my agenda today. I think my grandson's supposed to be coming over today. I bought him a couple of things. And I do believe he's coming over after he gets off work. I have to message him, text him, or something. I know he's working, so I don't want to call him. But I'll send him a message or something. But and see if he is coming by. How's that to start with? Um, I was attracted to this palette for some reason last night. I have no clue what it is. But it was. Let me use the purple now. It's kind of shimmery, but... I'm trying to stick to what's in the palette. You know what I mean? That's pretty. Kind of a little bit like what I did yesterday, but... I'm trying, people. I'm trying. So, does anybody here have kids? Or are there any kids here? Um, 
how's back to school this year? I know every year they add new rules. And, of course, you know, there's folks that get bent out of shape over it, some for good reason, some just because they want to complain. You know, some standing their ground, sticking up for their rights, you know. But um, I always expressed myself, in my opinion, and how I felt. I could, you know, it's the same thing like with my kids. Um, I don't have to like everything that they do. Um, as a mother, I feel it's my job to at least always tell them when I feel that they are doing something wrong or, you know, anything like that. I support my kids and what, what their decisions are. And same as, like, with their decisions with their kids. Um, I don't boss them around, scrutinize them, and all this and that. I will tell you if I think you're right or wrong, or I may offer a suggestion or something like that. But at the end of the day, I respect my kids' wishes and their rules. You know what I mean? Their rules with their kids. So it is what it is. And, you know, I had, when my kids were little, I had family members who would tell me what they felt I was doing wrong, but they were adamant about it to the point where they weren't going to let it go or anything. It was just like, bam. And it was something I had to deal with all the time. Um... And it's not pleasant. And I don't want to do that to my kids. Not everybody raises their kids the same. But it doesn't mean that one is right and all the rest are wrong. You know? Which, by the way, this is pretty dark. <laughs> um, I was going to use it as a lid. Because it looks like it has a lot of shimmer in it. But I'm putting it on... And I'm not seeing the shimmer. But then my eyes are messed up. So if you can see the shimmer, let me know. But it is blending in really nice. Blending out. Say it right, girlfriend. But yeah. And there is a shade in here that is black. Just black. And I'm like, this looks like it's coming out pretty black to me, too. But then I think I see some, you know, other tones in there. Yes, I do. I mean, you know what? I like that, actually. Um, tell me, what's your favorite makeup? What's your go-to? Gotta have it. The whole world's gonna fall apart if you don't make up. Or do you have a favorite brand? I do not necessarily have a favorite brand. I love Natasha Denona, but nobody's perfect. And I can guarantee you, there's, you know, makeup out there of the brands that I won't like. There's always something. You know what I mean? You don't like everything. Just because, of per you know, you like the brand. Okay, I'm trying to blend that a little bit so it's just not, not as dark. I'm trying to think what I can use on my lid. Which I'll think. Um, on my lid...
I don't know. I don't know. Okay, how about this nice cream shade? Bam. <laughs> nice cream shade here, too. I like it. Got to get some tissue. I like it. Um, I am going to go back over it here in just a second. I want it blended there as well. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's getting closer and closer to my daughter's wedding day. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so excited for uh, Daryl Lynn and Sal, you know, and they're, them getting married finally. <laughs> it's been forever. It seems. It seems like it's been forever, right? That doesn't mean that it necessarily has been forever but they have been together a very long time and they started out as best friends and you know when you have a partner in your relationship that you feel like is your when your best friends when you have that connection that's gold, honey. That is gold. Diamonds and gold. Yes, indeed. I'm trying to blend it a little bit. You know, especially with the dark color, it can look pretty harsh. Hey, hey, what do you say? It's going to be a brand new day. Okay. Um, oh, Krisha would kill me if she saw how I just put that back. I fix stuff, though, when I'm done. Well, I don't want to blend that yet. I do want to get some... Something up on that brow, if possible. Be nice if I could put my brushes where they belong, huh? A little bit up here. A little bit up here, a little bit in here. I have a headache again today. I had a headache yesterday. I took my prescription migraine medicine. It knocked it out for quite a while. Then I uh, ate something. Remember, my sugar was at 113 yesterday. Yesterday evening, I started feeling really, really weird. Uh, like the room was spinning and everything. And I kept getting this cold, clammy sweat. Like, you know how when you go through menopause, you have hot flashes. I was having cold flashes. Mm hmm I checked my sugar, and it was 202. That was the last time I checked it till this morning. Um, my whole evening was like a blur from my sugar shooting up so high. So, that won't happen again. I promise myself. Uh, so, um, eventually went to bed once I could get in bed because for quite a while there, it was a no go, no go. I'm going to add a little bit more. I have setting powder on me already, but a little bit of that dark shade kind of 
left behind a footprint, so to say. But yeah, so... Um, that was a very bad experience, and I've never had that happen. Well, I have had that happen like that, but, uh, not recently, anyways. So, this morning I got up, and my, you know, I gotta do this over here where I can see. I got up, and I checked my sugar before I ate, and it was 124. Thank goodness, you know, <clears throat> it had went back down. It's not 113 like it was yesterday, but I didn't expect it to be. Because I even got up, um, I think like 3, 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. I woke up and my stomach was growling. So I went in and washed some grapes and I washed some strawberries and cut them. And that's what I ate for a snack. Wow, did I just mess up. But yeah, that was a very bad experience. Yes, that ran a little. Did transfer a little, didn't it? Okay, well, what can we do? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. We're going to grab some mascara. Yesterday, I totally got off here without going over my Ipsy like I said I was going to. So, I got back on. Hopefully, you saw that. I got back on, and I made a little video about what's coming up in my Ipsy box. I did get to choose three of the items, I do believe. And then... I mean, I looked through all the add-ons, and I found nothing that I would have liked to have. But I did add on a deluxe sample size mascara. And that's just something I can take with me when, you know, in my little travel makeup bag. So I'm not lugging a whole bunch of stuff with me. You know what I mean? I house sit for my daughter sometimes. And, but I, I still come home. I spend time at home as well. So, um, because I do have two cats here. I do like to keep, you know, everything clean and you know cat box has to be cleaned every day and not every day but every other day is what I meant if my laundry room was bigger I'd even get a second cat box you're supposed to have one more cat box than you do cats so they're saying I should have three cat boxes I guess one belongs to one, the other to the other, and the other they share. Not a clue. Not a clue. I got out um, that Ofra again. Trying to get that used up. 
so we can move on. Mm -hmm. Now, some people like to frame their entire face, and on some people, it looks beautiful. Now, I do do it sometimes, but not all the time. You know what I mean? Especially my glands are all swollen in my neck. So it's not bad enough to have a double chin, but then you got your glands all swollen and sticking out. And, you know, when you have an autoimmune disease or autoimmune diseases, as in my case, then, yeah, you know, you're going to get them swollen glands. Mm -hmm. And I can't find my little red brush with the, to do my nose. So I'm just going to go in with this. This is what I use to blend it anyways. I had a dream last night about my Grams. She passed away a while back. Um, is it 2011? Or no, 2012. I think it was 2012. I have to ask my mom. But it's always nice to have dreams that, you know, she's still alive. I do miss my grandmother very, very much. My grams, man, she was the shit. I mean, she was like super mom, super grandma, super everything. She held our family together. She was our matriarch, you know, very good, 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 good person, God fearing. And she used to lecture me. And she always said, Terry, even, even as an adult, I'm going to put you over my knee and paddle your butt. She has never in her life paddled me. Now, I, can, I can't say the same for some of my other cousins because I know she got them. But she never paddled me. I was the firstborn, the first grandchild born to their first child. And um, I think I was the favorite. Yeah. Um, I was the only grandchild. My grandfather saw, met. Because he, he passed away not long after I was born. I mean, I was a little tiny baby when he passed away. I do have pictures of him holding me and him and my grams holding me. Um, I would have loved to really know him. I would have loved for him to have been around. You know what I mean? Like, my grandpa Hayhurst was the same thing. I mean, I really adored him. Um, I adored my grandmother, too. You know? My grandma Hayhurst. My grandma Klingerman, who was my grandma Yankee before that. But, um, very good people. My Uncle Dave, he has passed away, and I can honestly say that man gave the best hugs there was, there is, on earth. I mean, he was a preacher, too, but uh, he had this very, very deep voice. 
you know, the baritone type. And he was a preacher and he was a plumber. Both. And he was good at both, but I say his main job was giving the best hugs in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt. I can sit here and go over many family members that I was close to. I mean, my mom divorced bad number one. And, you know, I was around my aunt and uncles a lot. You know, like my mom's little brother. He's my big brother. He doesn't live here anymore. He he moved. Him and his wife and children. Okay. Give it a shake. The Ofra setting powder. But yeah. Anybody out there got favorite aunts, favorite uncles, favorite cousins, favorite anything? I mean, I love all my family. I may not see them a lot. I may not see them hardly. Um, I may not agree with their lifestyle or whatever, but I still love them. I would never stop. They're still my blood. They're still my family. I have a strong sense of family. Like, my family is everything to me. If I had a choice between my family and all the makeup in the world, lifetime, unlimited supply, I'd still choose my family. I'd give up everything I have for my family. And they know that. My grandkids are my heart. They are. My daughters, beautiful. I got four gorgeous daughters. Yes, indeed. I love this uh, mascara. I know you know that. <laughs> uh huh. I know you know. See, look at my glands sticking out like that. Actually, that's not my gland. I'm told. It's a lipoma. That's what um, my primary care physician told me. So I need to see a dermatologist, I guess. And get it removed. Which I would have already done. But it just bothers me where it is. I mean, what if they slip up? They cut your carotid artery. I mean, come on. They're not going to have time to fix it. No. I'm like, they, they be messing up too much. I think I'm going to give this a try. This is a gloss. What, who is this by? Too Faced. I don't know. I'm not going to give it a try. I don't think it even matches well. You know what I mean? 
I said I was going to do some hunting today of some new, you know, fall out of my chair trying to do this. Um, I do need to hunt down. some shades, new shades to add. Um, I gave away everything I had, really, as far as lip products. Color it in. Okay, let's see where it right here. Okay, guys, let's get this ponytail out. Yeah, it's supposed to be 90 degrees today, and I'm like, what? I have newly ordered fall scented wax for melting in my wax burners, fall candles, plus I have some from last year still, and man, I'm so ready to use them. It's 90 degrees today. It's not fall yet. I know officially it's not fall yet, but I'm ready for fall. I love fall and I love wearing my leggings and my leg warmers and my different boots and mm -hmm. I love me some fall. Okay. I do not like hair being left in my brush either. Well, guess what I found? So, uh, give me a thumbs up, guys. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And let's see what else. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back tomorrow and watch me do this all over again so i'm sure you'll enjoy it i hope you'll enjoy it i hope you enjoyed today so everybody take care enjoy your day make it a beautiful day it you're not just gonna wake up to a beautiful day you make it a beautiful day you know what i mean Enjoy it. Enjoy the people in your life and be very grateful. Be very grateful for the people in your life. And I, I, I have to say that if it wasn't for the people in my life, my life would be, you know what I mean? So they keep me going. But y'all take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.